Thank you, Lord. Here we go. Praise God. Once again, he has brought us once again back into, uh, into his presence to come together in the name of Jesus. And I welcome everyone here to Repairing the Bridge Ministries, our Thursday evening Bible study as we come together in the name of Jesus on one accord as we all join together. <clears throat> join together uh, to sit at our Father's feet to receive his word. And, and as we come together, being continuous prayer that... that Everything that is done is pleasing and acceptable unto our Father's sight, and there'll be no interruptions, no disturbances, uh, nothing to hinder the, the, the bringing forth of our Father's word, as well, uh, make sure that, that you empty yourself before our Father, that there be nothing of the flesh to hinder the receiving of his word, what, <clears throat> not bringing any, anything in, uh, in, into, the, into the presence uh, presence of the Lord as we join together uh, or as in one today tonight uh, as well being continuous prayer that the broadcast can go forth with no with, with not no cutting out of the signal or anything like that so all that have joined together with us online throughout this world can do so and receive <clears throat> just as we receive as we're as we all come together but before we get started let us all join together and in, in prayer open up in prayer in the name of Jesus Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us, for guiding and keeping and standing on with us. We thank you for the peace that you've given to us and all that you've done for us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear Father, just to watch over, guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Father, this evening as we all come together. I pray, dear Father. Bring all together, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. Everyone that desire that with the heart, their hearts desire to, to to come together for this your Bible study, dear Father, that we may be able to do so, dear Father. And I pray, dear Lord, just the forgiveness of all the sins we've committed against you. Everything that we've done falling short, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, dear Lord, to keep us upon a straight, narrow pathway, dear Father, to <clears throat> enlighten a pathway that you enlighten for us to travel down, dear Father, in the name of Jesus as well, dear Father. I pray, dear Lord, just, just uh, as we come together, I lift up this this your church, dear Father, as we come together, continue breathing that, uh, that your breath of life upon it, dear Father, upon this your church, dear Father, upon this Bible study, upon the gathering together of all of your children, of all of your hungry, dear Father. I pray, dear Lord, that I pray that your let your presence be felt and be in the midst. Uh, all that enter in, all that join together with us online will know that this is your church, this is your Bible study that you have that you have spoken into being, dear Father. And I pray that you that you be in the midst, dear Lord, uh, and and let your let your word come forth with power and with and and, and with authority, dear Father, that only you can uh, only you can bring, dear Father, as well, dear Lord. I pray, dear Father, that that. <coughs> All that, all that enter in, all each and every one of us as we enter in to sit at your feet, to dwell in, in your presence, dear Father, empty our, empty our cups before you, to come before you empty, that and there be nothing of the flesh to hinder the receiving of your word, nothing of the flesh to any way, <clears throat> to any way uh, block uh, what you would have us to receive, dear Father, and I pray unto you in the name of Jesus, dear Father, just to guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Father. Continue on blessing us, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. Continue on watching over us. And, I, and, and Satan, I come against you in the name of Jesus. You will not have anything to do with this service. I command you in the name of Jesus to keep your hands off the electronics. I command you in the name of Jesus to, to, stay, to stay away from those that have joined together with us online and those that dwell, those that are in this place as well. In the name of Jesus, you, not, you will not be a hindrance. You will not be any kind of an eruption or disturbance. In the name of Jesus, you will not interfere with this broadcast or with the delivering of our Father's Word. In the name of Jesus, I cast you, I cast you out even right now in Jesus' name. And dear Father, we thank you and I, and I praise you. And I pray, dear Lord, as we come together, as we come out of the distractions of this world, to enter in into your presence, to sit at your feet, to receive your word. I pray, dear Father, that your Holy Spirit, our comforter that you have sent unto us, will break this your word down, dear Father. Uh, every single thing, dear Lord, that you would have us to receive, I pray that it will be that that it will be broken down, that and, and that there will be a 
and that there will be a receiving. Each and every one of us will be able to receive your word. We'll have an understanding, a full understanding of what you would have for us to receive, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. From those of us that, that can only handle the milk of your word to those of us that can handle the meat of your word, I pray, dear Father, that every single, per, every single uh, <clears throat> person that has joined together with us here and as well as uh, online that are part of this service as well, I pray that all that come together with, with a desire, with a heart's desire to receive will be able to receive and be able to understand, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear Father, as well, as we receive this, your word, dear Lord, as we receive all that you give, all that you have to give unto us, dear Father, I pray to remind your children, dear Father, remind your hungry, dear Lord, that all the glory, all the praise, everything that you would have for us to receive, dear Father, uh, <clears throat> And all the hands that are thrown in the air, dear Father, with with the glory, glory and praise and praise, dear Father, go straight unto you, and and only you, not <clears throat> to any, not to any one or anything else, dear Father. That your word, that that we receive your word straight from you, dear Father, and that's where all the praise is to is to be aimed, is to be directed to, dear Father. And I pray to continue continuously. Remind each and every one of us, your children, you're hungry of that, dear Father. And as well, dear Lord, I let it be known this day, dear Father, I, as your servant, dear Father, I've <clears throat> of all that you have given me, dear Father, I, I give myself, I give my full self unto you, emptying my cup before you, dear Father, and, and knowing that that I am dependent upon you, knowing that I, I that that I need you, dear Father, to speak through, and I pray that you speak through your servant, dear Lord. I. <clears throat> humble myself knowing that I apart from you I can do nothing apart from you I can I cannot teach <coughs> apart from you I can I cannot preach and that therefore I pray dear father <clears throat> just to use me as your as your speak use me dear father speak through me dear lord in the name of Jesus and stand with each and every one of us dear father in Jesus name that we all will be able to receive, we all will be able to hear from you, dear Father, in the words that you would have for us to have for us to receive in Jesus' name. We thank you and we praise you, dear Father, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey Jesus. All right, here we go. Open up once again to Proverbs. We're on chapter nine. Uh, we're on verse. We're on this week. We're, we are on verse seven. Uh, <clears throat> we're on verse 7 uh, but just that as always we're going to review what we went over last week and then we're going we're going to uh, jump start where we where, where we are at this week tongue twister alright here we go uh, and, oh I forgot I almost forgot to mention that here we pray in the breach ministries that, that our Father allows us to read out of the King James as well as the NIV. And I'll try to keep in mind, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll try to keep in mind to, uh, to continue to uh, say which version uh, we're coming out of. So if there's any uh, big discrepancy or, or big differences of the wording, that there will be no confusion and no misunderstanding. But if there is, our Father is most likely going to have me read out of both versions anyhow. But uh, I'll just try to keep in mind to announce which version I'm going to be reading out of. Alright, so here we go. Chapter 9. Quick review of what we did last week. Chapter 9, verse uh, 5. And this is going to be out of... <clears throat> excuse me, this is going to be out of the King James Version. Alright, here we go. Uh, come, come eat my bread and drink of the wine which I have made. Uh, forsake the foolish and live and <clears throat> and go in the way of understanding oh wait what verse did I read? oh five and six what the verse did I read oh all right, all right, I did read five, five and six all right here we go I thought I skipped over a verse all right here we go now uh <clears throat> what we have learned uh that that wisdom uh which in essence is 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 uh is is the 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 trend that the God is the Lord is, is Christ it, all, it, it, that everything is being set up the inv the invite is going out uh, <clears throat> the Lord is setting everything up and in wisdom here as we started out where 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 it goes off and says that that wisdom has built her house hewn uh, the 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 uh, 
you know, with seven pillars, uh, uh, killed the beast, have, have mingled the wine, and uh, furnished the table, all of, all of that, sent forth the maidens to invite her to, and cry, and she cried out into the, uh, into the high places. That uh, with, with all of this being said, that uh, here in, in verse 5, it, it said it, that, that, that wisdom is coming forth, and, and with all of this, uh, that, that wisdom has stayed. Uh, it, 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 wisdom comes forth again and, and says, come, eat of my bread drink of the wine that I have I have mingled or I or, or in the NIV it says drink of the wine that I have mixed that that everything that is being done it, it wisdom is doing uh, wisdom is doing herself everything that's being done the Lord the Lord and that is doing himself that the setting the table he bring he's printed putting forth the end by sending his uh, sending his ministers forth wisdom is sending her ministers forth to, to bring all to bring everyone in to bring the invite in and just <clears throat> <clears throat> and and just like we learned last week that this is this invite is going out because the Lord does not plead that does not uh, he does not desire to have anyone uh, anyone to, to fall short anyone uh, to to uh, perish that uh, how we read and we're gonna flip around a little bit and how we read it in, in Matthew chapter chapter eight, chapter eighteen. Matthew chapter 8. <laughs> uh, hang in there. You got it. <laughs> in Matthew chapter 18, it says, Even so, and this is out the King James, Even so, it is not the will, of, the will of your Father, which is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. This is that, that this is why the invite goes out. That that God does not wish anyone to perish. God does not wish anyone uh, to... to uh, <coughs> Uh, to to be lost uh, to this world, and that's why this invite. This is why in verse five, this is what invite is going out and saying, "Come eat." And it's saying, "Come eat, come eat of my bread, a drink of the wine which I have made." Everything that the, the wine that that is mixed, the wine that it, how the Lord taught us last week that that is not an ordinary wine. It, it, it's mixed. Uh, Christ shed His blood. Uh, <clears throat> Christ has shed His blood. It, it, it's mixed. It, it's mixed to where it gives life, uh, gives, gives eternal life to those that that come and drink, as well as the bread. Uh, Christ being broken for us. Uh, <clears throat> anyone that eat of that bread and, and drink of that cup will have that eter will will have eternal life that has that relate that has that personal relationship with Christ. Uh, <clears throat> and as well, in, in how we read it in Isaiah fifty five. Chapter fifty-five, verse one, where it says, "Come and eat." It says, and "Those that come and buy, those without, uh, the, without money and without pri without price, uh, that that he's that the invite there is going forth as well, saying that that come on, uh, come on and eat, come buy, buy uh, that of that which is free, buy which of, of that which has been set out for you." Uh, and the same thing here, and I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to dwell too much. Uh, in this so we can move on but but uh <clears throat> as well <clears throat> in ephesians in ephesians what where it says be be filled with the spirit says not be filled with wine but 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 to be filled with the spirit in ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 and what we won't turn to it real quick but but that is that is stating uh that that uh the desire for the lord for for uh for the lord how is it father help, help me with this is it the the Lord's desire for us to be filled with Him, uh, to 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 eat to to eat to the fullest, for Him to fill us up, for Him uh, to to uh, be in to be in control uh, <clears throat> of our action, giving us giving our full selves unto Him, and as well here go down to verse six. Oh, my nose is tickling. Uh, in verse six, uh, where it says, "Forsake." Not, I mean, forsake the foolish and live, and go in the way of understanding. Forsa forsaking the foolish, uh, in the NIV it says, leave your simple ways. The simple ways that that end up in death. The simple ways uh, that 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 in that that end up that. Everyone that that goes their own way ends up being lost, ends up being deceived, ends up being tricked, ends up uh, uh, falling, uh, <clears throat> falling into a ditch. Uh, and th this is uh, verse six here is, is telling us to forsake it, to leave it, to not turn back again, 
uh, <clears throat> how the angels uh, took Lot out of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and told him not to, not to, not to look back. He sent them on out of the 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 city, the city that was going to be destroyed, the city that was going to ha that had death uh, over it. Uh, the angels sent sent Lot out of there. Lot, well, Lot and his wife and his daughters. His wife looking back and turning into a pillar of salt, which uh, I'm not going to get too much into that. But but her desire, her heart was still back in Lot. It wasn't the physical, uh, the physical, the physical house of father, uh, the, the the physical act of turning around, but the spiritual act of, of her heart being still uh, in, in where where she was sent, where they were sent out from. Um, all right, we won't go into that. Uh, but it says, it says here, it says, turn, it says, forsake the foolish and live. <clears throat> that that the forsaking the foolish is, is, is uh, where is it at, Father? How, how the Lord, how the Lord w would have us look to something greater than ourselves. Uh, any, anyone that, that looks to themselves are looking to the foolish. Anyone that looks uh, to anything of the world is looking to the foolish. Anything that looks uh, to, to, to man's ways or, or, or what they can uh learn uh, of, of, of the wisdom of man is looking to the foolish. Uh, how we turn to, where is it at? In Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 and verse 9, where the Lord was saying, my ways are not your ways, my thoughts are not your thoughts, as oh, is high, is, is high as the heaven is above the earth, uh, <clears throat> that's how far my ways are, are from your ways. Yes? Huh? I didn't hear you. You, you have, you, you have, Oh yeah, oh, okay, but but hey, but but how the Lord just is show it shows us every through this that 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 forsaking the foolish is is, is uh, <clears throat> looking toward life, looking toward uh, not only uh, as we get on as we go down this chapter not only a long life here but 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 uh, as well as well as well not only long life a peaceful life. Uh, uh, peaceful life, uh, peaceful life in the Lord, and we'll we'll move on with that uh, <clears throat> later on. But as well, uh, going on further than that it is eternal life with Him. That's why it says, "Forsake the foolish and live." That <clears throat> that how it said how it says uh, uh, in, in chapter seven uh, how the, the 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 strange woman's house is the is the way to uh, how is this? Let me turn to that real quick. Uh, in chapter seven, verse twenty-seven, where it says her house is the way, <clears throat> is the way to hell, and going down, going down to the chambers of death. That's uh, that's why that's why here in chapter six it says, uh, oh man, I, I just lost. Me. Oh, there it is. That's why it's saying forsake the foolish and live. All right, and uh, as well going, going in, go in, the way of understanding. The way of understanding is. Walking with the Lord. Let me see if I. Uh, oh, I didn't write that. The way of understanding is walking with the Lord, and and he, even as well. Uh, Where's it at, Father? Where 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 it says uh, even in verse ten, what we're going to get to maybe this week or maybe today, where where it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of of, of wisdom. Uh, that that's that's a, that's a, the uh, go going in the way of understanding. That more than it, 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 it's it's spiritual understanding. It, it, it's walking with the Lord and and knowing, uh, knowing the 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 the, uh, the deeper things of God, knowing the the, the uh, having that deeper walk with Him. Uh, that that's what that understanding is. It, it, it's 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 more than than just knowing where where to turn where uh, have where the Holy Spirit being within each and every one of us. Uh, telling us whether to turn left or whether to turn, whether to turn right, whether to pick, whether to pick one or the other, whether uh, <clears throat> to go here or there. But it, it's it's reading when you read God's word, and and you have that understanding, and, and the depths the 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 depths of the depths of God's word, how deep it can get, and and uh, how involved it it can get as well. No, it's really just this All right, now here we go. Uh, where were, where were we? Oh, there's my paper. Thought I lost my paper. All right, here we go. Chapter seven. Where we're at this week? 
All right. Oh, we finished it within before five six thirty. All right, here we go. Uh, verse uh, verse seven. It says, "He <clears throat> he that reproveth the scorner get get it <clears throat> getteth to himself shame." Oh wait, that was a uh, we did that last week. Oh, then we did do that last week. Here we're, we're going to review this one real quick. That this this is that this is the uh, in chapter nine verse seven. I forgot we did that one last week as well. That this one that we're saying, he that reproved the scorner, uh, getteth <coughs> getteth himself shame. That this is this is uh, talking. Uh, just get, use mine. Just use mine. Don't don't pull. Uh, th this is this is the. Uh, that somebody that that is uh in, in full rebellion to god anyone that that is uh that that desires not uh to to be uh how's the desires not to hear god's word to hear his correction uh to to uh have their course have their course cor correct uh th this is this is that this is what it that's this is what it is talking about even at how in matthew says uh giveth not that which is holy unto dogs uh he, in, in, in uh, uh, here I gotta turn to it. Let's turn to it. Matthew chapter seven, verse six. Ah, oh, man, I thought we were gonna get through the review quick this week. Here, Matthew chapter seven, verse six. All right, I gotta turn to it first before I. It says, once I find it, give not, give not that which is holy unto dogs. Neither cast your pearls before swine. Lest they trample them under their feet <clears throat> and turn again and rend you. That this this is what it's saying that that you don't. This this is saying here that that w why this word why it says here that uh, reprove not the scorner. Uh, <clears throat> or he that reproved the scorner getting himself shame. This, this is saying that that anyone that is in open rebellion uh, uh, to God, anyone that is in open uh, open openly <coughs> rejecting God that w that those are the people that that if you if you try to correct their course if you try to uh spiritually uh to lead them spiritually to to Christ you're going to get yourself you you they're going to talk about you they're going to talk bad about you they're going to uh come against you in, in, in every way that that yes God wants everyone saved yes God er wants everyone to have a relationship with him through Christ and to have their home in heaven but there's some that that are uh, that are, are in open rebellion against God against his word against everything that he stands for that that uh, he, he would not have. He would not have you speak those words because it, it, they will come back uh, and, and attack you for it. And as well, the the last half of, the, of verse seven, where it says, "He and he that rebuketh the wicked getteth himself a blot." Or in a, <clears throat> in, in an NIV, it says, "Who rebukes the wicked incurs abuse." This. Is, this is the same thing. The first one was insults being thrown at you. The second one is you being talked about. Uh, you being, uh, you being, uh, your name being uh, run down uh, w w with others. Uh, <clears throat> and, and, and just not, the, the, the words that you speak are, they will try to come against you with them. They will try to, uh, call you names because of them they will try to insult you they will try they, they will try to do everything they can to discourage you to, to show you that they don't they don't like uh, what the, the 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 Lord in you the Lord using you and the Lord speaking through you uh, and that's and that's what all of that is about that they they des they do not desire it. And, and therefore that's why the Lord here uh, it, the Lord has Solomon here writing down, He that reproveth the scorner, getteth himself shame, and he that rebuketh the wicked man, getteth, get him, getteth himself a, a, a blot, or, or, or incurs abuse. That, that this is why you have, how the Lord even taught us last week, you have to pray before you speak your word, before you, you go out and, and try to speak God's words to somebody. Because there will be those, there will be some out there that God will not have you speak His words to, and and and, and if you go on your own and try to do it, then, then this verse seven is going to 
it, it, it's going to occur to you. Uh, how in, in, out the NIV where it says uh, the mock, uh, the the uh, he, whoever corrects the mocker uh, invites insults, and <clears throat> the, the the whoever rebukes the wicked incurs abuse. In both of these cases, they're actively actively going against what God God and, and, and everything that God has to re represent of God and, and God speaking through you, the Spirit in you that. <clears throat> they despise it. They reject it. They they fight against it. They don't want anything to do with it. That's why whenever we speak, whenever the whenever we see someone, and, and whether whether we think we should speak God's word to them or not, whether we should think we should uh, re uh, speak anything to them or not, that you have to pray. You don't need to pray long. It's not about qu quantity. It's about quality. And you have to pray and, and ask God uh, if it if it's for Him to speak through you to that person to to let it be so and not force it out <clears throat> because verse seven will occur to you. Now here we go. Now here we're at where we're at uh, this week. Uh, verse eight, Proverbs chapter nine, verse eight. That's where we're at this week, and and uh, I'm going to read that. Out of out of uh, the 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 King James. All right, here we go. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Now, this is a continuation. This the, not only do you get shame uh, or or insults, as it says in the NIV, uh, and and as well as a blot. In the King James or in the NIV, it says uh, abuse, but but as but including all of that, uh, that that once you try to correct their course, uh, whether it's in, whether and, and this and this involves not only correct, I shouldn't just say correcting the course. This is that involve spirit encouraging, uh, speaking words of encouragement uh, to 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 a scorner working. Uh, Speaking words of encouragement to a scorner, speaking uh, words of of of, of uh, <clears throat> any kind of joy, and and this and this isn't in general. This is spiritually uh, to them that 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 it, that you you will occur all all of this all of these things. And now here in verse eight it says, "Reprove a scorner, reprove a scorner, and <clears throat> oh, re reprove not. I'm sorry, reprove not." A scorner, lest he hate thee. And in, in, the, in the NIV, it says, "Do not rebuke mockers, or they will hate you." Those that openly mock God, those that openly uh, rebel against God, everything that God has to stand for. Once, uh, just as we went uh, went over in verse eight, every all of that. This is this is don't don't re, don't do not reprove them. Uh, do do not uh, rebuke them. Right, that, because it, there will be open hatred uh, towards you. There will be open, uh, open uh, how is it, Father? There, there will be open uh, detest, which is the same thing as hatred. Uh, being being focused, uh, and, and and with that, it, with that, it, it will it will. Uh, thank you, Lord. It, it will be a laser focus towards you. Uh, with that, it, it, it toward uh, from a scorn. From the wicked, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. From 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 the uh, from those that are in open rebuke. Uh, how, how where is it at, Father? And uh, flip to Proverbs chapter fifteen, verse twelve. And this is out the. Uh, let's see where, Father. Where should, I'll probably read it out of both. I'm gonna start it out. I'm gonna read this first out of the King James. It says, "A scorner loveth not one that reproveth him; neither will he go <coughs> he go unto the wise." Out of the NIV, it says, "Mockers resent correction, so they <coughs> avoid the wise." It, it, they're not that they, they don't want and this correction is is, is uh is focused spiritually 
uh, God correcting correcting their course uh, telling them uh, telling them what way that they should go what way, what they should do uh, that that's what that's what is ta- that's what it's talking about here in uh I gotta uh, forgot where I was at here in, in back at ver- in verse 8 says reprove not the reprove not the scorner lest he hate it. that that is why they the uh, a person that is in open rebellion uh, to God, to 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 uh, everything that God represents, everything God stands for, uh, they they don't they do not want to be uh, reproved. They don't want to have their course corrected by one of God's children. They don't want. They do not want. Uh, <clears throat> they do not want uh, to have their their way uh, sought sought out by by uh, one of God's servants. Uh, how in, in, in uh, turn to First King, First Kings chapter twenty twenty-two. Uh, chapter twenty-two, ver- verse eight. I'm sorry. Uh, where did, the 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 uh, was it the king of the the, the king of Israel? Uh, first Kings. Yeah, First Kings. I'm sorry, First Kings. Yeah, the king of Israel. That that <coughs> it was the king of Israel. That that hate that hated uh uh my I think yeah it was Micah uh in, in first in, here in First Kings chapter twenty two uh, verse eight and he says and the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat there is yet one man Micah <coughs> Micaiah uh the the son of Imla Imlea by whom we <coughs> We may inquire of the Lord, but I hate him, for he doeth not prophesy good concerning me, but evil. And Jeho- Jehoshaphat said, "Let not the king say so." That w- when somebody's in open rebellion of God, that that's what that's what it is. They 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 hate you. If there's any correcting, they hate. It, well, if there's any spiritual correcting, anything of the Lord that's coming that that comes their way, they hate you for it. This is why it's saying here that <clears throat> this is why I flip back to Proverbs. It says here, uh, lest lest he hate you, don't don't. Uh, uh, he says, do not uh, do, don't reprove him because it, because he will hate you for it. He will uh, <clears throat> have an attitude towards you for it. Uh, and, and and but on the other hand, here at the end of this chapter, or end of this verse of, of uh, Proverbs chapter nine verse eight, it says, "Rebuke the <coughs> rebuke the wise man, and he will and he will love thee." All right. Now here, first off, we're gonna flip flip over to uh, Psalms Psalms chapter one forty one. No, oh, brain brain freezed up real quick. Uh, chapter one forty one verse five. And, and, and this, uh, uh, if I remember right, uh, th- this is after uh, David, after Nathan uh, corrected David w- w- uh, for uh, sleeping with um, was it Bathsheba, I believe. And now here, this 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 is <coughs> this is David's words. It says here in chapter in Psalm chapter one forty one verse five, and this is at the King King James. It says, "Let let the righteous smite me. It sh- it shall be kindness, and let him reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil, which which shall not break my head. For yet my prayer also shall <clears throat> shall be in their in their calamities." This is. That David is saying that, that that let the righteous man let uh, through through uh move that move that back so, through God's word uh, through God's servants uh, let 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 them correct them that that is showing that 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 God is, is, is loves them this is showing that God loves you this is showing that God is still looking out for you this this is showing that that God is is saying that's my child and I'm going to make sure that they go into the right they go the right direction that they're that they don't go down uh, the, the 
down to the, the, the way the way of hell. They're not going to go to hell. They're not going to be an, e eternally separated from me. They're not going to be, as, as Paul of the Old Testament, rejected and, and uh, <clears throat> uh, caused to the rebellion causing, uh, the continuous rebellion causing uh, him to be uh, to be rejected of God and, and, and his spirit just being told God removing his spirit totally from him because of the re rebellion Th this is that <clears throat> let the righteous smite me this is saying that that showing that God still loves you that, that, that God still is walking with you where's it at father in in uh Proverbs uh no 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 oh, where's it at father oh there it is. oh Proverbs chapter 3 um yeah Proverbs, yeah, Proverbs chapter 3. Help me, Father. Slow me down. I get a little bit excited whenever the Lord has to slow me down. <clears throat> All right, here, Proverbs chapter 3, uh, verse 12. And uh, th This is, uh, I'll read this out the NIV. The NIV, it says, because, because the Lord <clears throat> disciplines those he loves, as a father, the son, he he delights in. Oh, yeah, okay, out the King James as well. For whom this is out the King James. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he the in whom he delighteth. God is going to make sure that that you're going the way that He would have you to go. And and, and if that's if that's through the correct correcting your course, and however it may be, uh, through discipline. Uh, th through through scolding you, through uh, ha having to live through uh, a punishment, uh, like 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 with David, uh, <clears throat> uh, the Lord is gonna is going to correct your course. And and now with with this, when he does he does it out of love, he, he showing his love towards you. Uh, how it says uh, so he delighteth in the Lord when the Lord when the Lord delights in you. He's going to make sure that you're going the way that, that he would have you to go. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, where's it at? And, and those that, those that uh, walk with him, uh, <clears throat> when, when they're rebuked, they're going to not only uh, have that re repentance in their heart, uh, not, not, uh, not only... Uh, seek, seek God's forgiveness, uh, but but they're but they're going to uh, they are going to love the person that that the Lord used to correct them. Oh, man, I, I just thought of it. No, I just put it in my the. Uh, oh, now I lost it. Uh, I received the brother. Um, I can't remember what it's in. It's in the New Testament. I can't remember where it is. Never mind. <coughs> <clears throat> it's about correcting. Uh, 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 what is that? It, it's a. What's that? Uh, or you have gained a brother. Yeah, uh, well, I, I can't remember it. Uh, but we'll, we'll just go. We'll we'll move on. But here it, it, it go going on that 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 <clears throat> the scorn the the scorner is going to hate you. The scorner is gonna is gonna totally reject what you say. The scorner is going to uh, absolutely detest you. But those that walk with God, the and and it says here the wise, those that and uh, and it says the wise because uh, the the fear, there's the fear of the Lord and the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all knowledge. <clears throat> How it says in uh what, what verse is that? In, in chapter I know it's in chapter one. Uh, let me see real quick. Let me turn to it real quick. Uh, oh, chapter one, verse seven, where it says, "The fear of the Lord is the beginning of all knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and and, and instruction." That's in Proverbs chapter one, verse seven, and that was out the King James. Yes. No, we're just we're just gonna move. We're gonna move on. All right, and and. and <coughs> That's why. That's where that wisdom kicks in. Uh, when you know how, how it says uh, in, in chapter nine, ver Proverbs chapter nine, verse four, where it says, "Whomso is simple, let him come. Let him come in hither." That that you know that that you are, that you are that simple one. 
you are that one needing uh, to to be God. You are that one needing. Uh, you are you are you are dependent on God and and what uh, in the direction that He can give you and what and and the things He can do for you. This is why that you will love you will love the person that corrects you because you know that they're that they are a servant of God and and you being a, a, a child of God you your you uh, having your heart turn toward God that that you that that you love that that you not only love the Lord but you love who the Lord is using who the Lord is using to correct you uh, <clears throat> through and, and that's why you you gain you you would gain that relationship you because uh, not not because they're correcting you but because the Lord that that's a a, a brother or a sister in Christ uh, and and that that bond is there because you both love the Lord uh, and, and they they love the Lord uh, enough to, to to and obedient enough to come to you to make sure that you're going in the right direction. You love the Lord uh, so much. Uh, and you love the Lord in a way that 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 you love you you uh, not love uh, having to be corrected, but 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 love but love the Lord because He uh, delighted delighted enough in you to uh, correct your course. And that's where that love comes by, and that's where uh, that that's why you love the person that that is is correcting. All right, now here let's move on. Uh Verse, where are we at? Verse, uh, verse 9. Let me get a drink of water. Alright, here we go. I'm not swallowed loud, but that was an accident. Alright, here we go. Verse 9. Uh, <clears throat> verse 9, it says, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be wiser. Teach a just man, and he will in increase learning. Now, <clears throat> give instruction to a wise man, and <clears throat> you'll be wiser. This, this is, this is, this is, uh, how is it, Father? Whether, whether it's correcting your course with, with, a, uh, with, with a rebuke, uh, with instruction, or, or uh, w w with with teaching, uh, however that instruction comes, uh, however uh, the 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 words the, of what you need come, that it will be received, and and not not it won't. Like, everybody hears, e everybody hears what what is being said uh, <clears throat> when you're speaking to somebody. Uh, they, they will they will always say yeah I hear you or, or, or yeah I hear what what what's what you're saying that they audibly yes they they hear what you're saying uh, <clears throat> that that even even uh, somebody that 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 is deaf that that can read lips can can uh, can can uh, not hear but 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 they, they can understand what is being said the only difference is, is is that somebody that 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 uh is accepting of that instruction that is ex in accepting of that teaching will will be able to receive what what is being what is being said uh to them uh and uh, here in houses uh here over to uh and and their their desire is going to be uh how's it fun? their desire is going to be able to to, to move on uh, how we I can't remember what what week that was when we came out of Hebrew Hebrews but flip to Hebrews and and, and, and Hebrews chapter was that chapter 6 verse 1 where the where uh, the, the the teacher of he Hebrews it, it is saying it hey, now wait till everybody turns to it that here that this teacher in Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 uh, is it verse six? Chapter six? Yeah, chapter six, verse one. Where, where it says, uh, "Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ," right here, it, it says, "Let let us let us go on to perfection, 
not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and faith toward God. In the NIV, it, it, it says, uh, it says, therefore, let us move on, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ and, <clears throat> and be taken forward to maturity, not, lay, not laying again the foundation uh, of repentance uh, from, from acts that lead to death and faith in, in, in God. That this moving, move on to perfection. This is that. <clears throat> go ahead, flip back to Proverbs, uh, chapter nine, verse nine. And this is that that the instruction uh, to the wise man, uh, in, in the teaching to the just man. This is their this is their desire. Their desire is is to move on to perfection. Their desire is, is to be like uh, uh, what's that? Enoch, the, who was trans, who was trans, transformed. It, it, to Enoch, who who was a uh, uh, who was taken by God because he walked with the Lord. This is what this is what that is talking about. We're in um, Proverbs uh, chapter nine, verse nine. And that this is why when you give when you give instruction to a wise man, uh, he becomes wise. Uh, when you teach a just man, he he increases in learning. Uh, th this is this is uh, more than just. Uh, Auto, uh, the, 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 how's it, Father? Opening up something and, and instructing. That this is th that that receiving of God's word, uh, and and as you receive it, uh, God, uh, as it as you receive that word, uh, which is the which is the seed uh, uh, that the Lord gives to you, uh, and it falls on fertile ground, which is within your heart. It, it springs forth its roots, and and it, and it uh, comes forth. It, it, with with good fruit in your life, and this is why in that instruction, <clears throat> whether whether in that instruction in that teaching, whether it whether it's uh, in rebuke in rebuke or in 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 uh, instruction or, or whether it, whether it's in uh, uh, making sure you're going on that right pathway, everything is going to be received. Everything is going to be accepted. Because, <clears throat> because just one, once again, where's it at? Uh, how it says in verse four, whoso when, when the invite comes out, whoso is simple, let him come in hither. That 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 when you realize that you that that you have not the I anywhere near the intelligence uh, to to be able to to comprehend uh, what God has for you or, or uh, comprehend uh, how to get into heaven uh, then you're going to be more more open more uh, receiving of, of that instruction more receiving of, of that teaching that that God has uh, no matter no matter who it is that God sends uh, to you to give you that instruction to give you that teaching uh, whether it's in whether it's in rebuke whether in in, in, in uh, 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 how uh, correcting your course, uh, uh, or, or whether it's in, whether it's in uh, teaching or however it may come, that you receive that that there you will, you will receive there will be a receiving of it. All right, now let's wait. What verse we get this one? Ah, oh, we're on verse ten now. All right, let's go on to verse ten. Uh, we'll probably end up stop stop at verse ten. All right, here we go. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge and the knowledge of the holy is understanding this coming from what we just came from chapter oh I almost lost my page chapter 1 verse verse 7 chapter 1 verse 7 is just reiterated it's repeated uh, from from chapter 1 verse 7 saying the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge uh, <coughs> but fools despise wisdom and and instruction. This first half of it, the fear of the Lord, is beginning of, uh, the the beginning of knowledge. The, the 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 fear of the Lord. Uh, <clears throat> that that's that's where that that beginning of wisdom is. That because no no man no man is, is truly wise until he uh, fears the Lord. Uh, and, and, and fear in the Lord is is not how the world sees, not how the world defines fear. Uh, where where the 
the cortisone level rises, your heart starts beating, you, the, 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 that, that, uh, that, uh, you just, you, you're petrified and whatnot. This, this fear is that reference, uh, knowing that, that, like, once again, that, that, that you're simple, knowing that, knowing how far above God is uh, above us, that this, this fear, <clears throat> this fear here, and, and when you, once you discover that, once you discover uh, that, 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 uh, that no matter what education that you have, no matter what level of ed education that you have, whether you have an MBA, whether you have a master's, uh, a, a bachelor's, no matter, a, a doctorate, no matter what you have, uh, that, that you, have no, you have no knowledge. That's why, uh, who is it, Paul said that he, he uh, what was that, he counted all dung, everything that he has learned, everything, that he, because he came up under Gamaliel. Gamaliel was part of the Sanhedrin Council. Uh, I, I can't remember if he, if he was one of the heads of it, or, but but uh, Paul came up under him. He came up under the best education, the, the, the best learning, the best everything. But he caught, he counted that all uh, but dung uh, when it came <clears throat> when it came to uh, coming in, in, uh, unto Christ. Uh, it, it, and that's where and when with him doing that. With him acknowledging that the, uh, of uh, no, that that's where that that wisdom is is, is going to rise from. Uh, and that's where that, and that's why it has here that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of of wisdom, uh, and as well here and <clears throat> going on further it says and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. The knowledge of the holy, the, the knowledge of the holy is knowing the Lord, knowing the Lord, uh, Christ as your personal Savior, knowing God is, is, is God is a your your Father, Holy Spirit being within you. All of that is that is that understanding, uh, and that only comes from flip over to Matthew, and now that only comes from uh, walking with the Lord. That only comes from walking with the Lord through Christ. And in Matthew, where's it at, Father? Chapter 11, verse 27. And I, let's see. Uh, I might read this out of... Out of uh, I'll probably read this out of both. In Matthew, chapter 11, verse 27. I'll, I'm, I'm going to start reading out of the, the King James. It says, All things are delivered unto me of my Father. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. And he to whom the Son will, will re reveal him. The NIV, it, it, says, uh, it says, All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son, and those whom <clears throat> the Son chooses to reveal. Now, the second half of, of, chat, of verse 10, uh, where it says the, the knowledge of the Holy is understanding. Once you have that walk, once you have that walk with the Lord uh, through Christ, uh, it, it, it's going, things are, that, 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 Things are going to be revealed to you. Things are going to be opened up to you. There's going to be a, 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 a far deeper understanding of, of God's word uh, once when that when that occurs. It'll be a far for a far deeper understanding of God's word than than, than somebody than anybody that that, that uh, is in this world that that is relying just on uh, their, their their education. Uh, whether they went to uh, uh, seminary school uh, for uh, <clears throat> or have a uh, what is that a, a, a doctorate in, in divinity, that anyone that relies on that has they they, they may have uh, more book knowledge, they may have more uh, more knowledge of the customs that that went on in the Old Testament and the customs that go on in the Hebrew uh, tradition, but they don't have a deep understanding of of of, of the Lord. Uh, <clears throat> compared to somebody that has given themselves to him through Christ, that, that walk with the Lord uh, through Christ. Uh, this, is, this is why here, it, it's the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord, that, that starts everything. That, that's, that, that, start, that starts everything going. 
that is, is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the holy is understanding that that knowledge uh, knowing uh, knowing who the Lord is knowing that, that that Christ is his son knowing that the Holy Spirit <coughs> is our comfort that was sent to us that that dwells in everyone that has accepted Christ as a personal Savior that that at all of all of that that that's that where that understanding uh, is going to start and, and as it starts from as it starts from that it, it only grows uh, the more that that, that you uh, run after them uh, the more that, the more that that you uh, desire that, that the more desire that you have just to just to go full bore after God and, and, and not stop until you get everything that, that you can know how it says in, in, in Hebrews knowing that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him and that where is it at? Uh, is that in is that in le chapter 11 verse 1 I can't rem I can't remember uh, let's see oh no that's the faith that's the definition of faith ah oh, man is that is it in Hebrews I think it's uh, oh man somebody find it yell it out Oh, chapter 11. Thank you, Lord. Here we go. Uh, all right, everybody turn to chapter 11, verse verse 6. It says, but, and this is out the, uh, I'll read it out of both of them. Now, I'm going to start it out the King James. Uh, to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is <clears throat> a rewarder of them that diligently seek him out of the niv it says without faith it is impossible to please god because anyone who comes to him must must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek seek him this is that knowledge that that knowledge once you start running after God uh, that that the uh, that desire has to be there and it cannot stop you can't be satisfied with, with where you're at uh, with God at, at, at any given time you have to keep keep on uh, keep on uh, praying keep on uh, reading his word keep on uh, walking with him in every way possible every aspect of, of your life giving it over to God and then that's when that's when that 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 true not that, that he God sees that and that true knowledge is, is going to uh it, it going to spring forth that's when your heart is is truly going to be fertile fertile ground for God's word and that's why here and that it, but it all stems from uh the start at verse 10 where it says the fear of the the fear of the Lord I'm, I'm back at uh Proverbs uh where it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom uh, and it goes on from there where knowledge is, <coughs> and the knowledge is <coughs> and the knowledge of the holy is understanding that that's where it all is going to stem from it's, that's where it's all going to start from once you once you have a, a, that that true uh how's it father have have a true uh fear of the Lord w w within your heart, uh, and like like the Lord said earlier, it, it's it, it's not the trepidation, it, it's not the uh, the, the the fear how the world describes fear, but but it's that reverence, knowing of who the Lord is, know, knowing what He has done for you, knowing uh, what He's going to do, knowing that all battles are His, and, and there's none that that can withstand Him it, it, when when He come, when he, once His presence uh, hits the room, once he, once He does. Uh, comes uh, to your defense that none can stand with him. That's where that fear is going to come from. Uh, that that the fear which is reverence. That's where it's going to come from. But it all stems from the fear of the Lord, beginning the with in the beginning of wisdom and the not and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. All right, everybody got it. Praise God. All right, we're gonna stop there. Oh man, I was, I was hoping we could get verse eleven and twelve done. That's the said. That's the last two verses of this section. Uh, but oh well, we're gonna we'll we're gonna stop. We'll stop there, and we're gonna go uh, pick up. What's what's the, what's the next week?
We'll pick up next week. Uh, next week is the third. Yeah, May the third. Wait, fifth month. So next week, I'm oh, looking at writing with my left hand again. I can write like the weird ones. Uh, but <laughs> we're gonna pick up. We're gonna pick up. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pick up here on uh, <laughs> verse eleven. Chapter nine, verse eleven next week. So uh read study the whole the rest of the rest of this chapter from verse uh from verse eleven to verse eighteen, all uh eight chapters. So uh and just as always once you when when you're reading God's word, when you uh before you read his word, before you open up his Bible, pray and, and see God's face. Uh, uh pray and, and ask God to open up his word to you that you're about to read and once you're reading God's word being continuous prayer that he will continuously open up his word giving you that understanding and when you're done when the Lord allows you to be done give God glory and praise because he uh, because of all that he's revealed to you all that he's allowed you uh, to read and to understand and do all of this in the name of Jesus all right like I said next week we're gonna finish well just study the rest of the ch uh, rest of chapter what, what chapter is that chapter 9 and then we'll get and we'll get through whatever the Lord lets us get through. Yeah, I doubt if we're gonna finish it up, but we can always try. All right, so here uh, I'm gonna move on to the invitation of discipleship. If there's anyone here and any of you joining together with us online, and if you if your heart's desire is to accept Christ as your personal Savior, to come and to ask Him into your heart, uh, <clears throat> ask Him into your invite Him into your heart. Uh, the time is now. If you're here and you want to accept Christ as your personal Savior, we will welcome you in the family into the family of God. If 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 you're on, if you're joined together with us online and you desire to accept Christ as your personal Savior, uh, you can do so. And, and I say, to, if if it's your heart's desire to do so, because it ha it, it it should not be done because somebody is forcing, uh, trying to force you to do it, or somebody is trying to uh, <coughs> coerce you to do it. Whether it's a parent or loved one or friends or relatives, uh, and, and as well, it, your your heartstring. You should not do it because your heartstrings are being pulled. You're tr being pulled emotionally, whether it's by uh, the same the relatives or or, or, or siblings or, or husbands or, or wives or, or or even pastors or preachers. That that, that if they uh, uh, you should not accept Christ as your personal savior if you're trying if they're if it's trying to be done uh, forcibly or or through emotion. Uh, it has to be your heart's desire to do so to accept Christ as your personal savior. Not in any other way. And so if you're here, we'll welcome you into the family of God if you desire to accept Christ as your personal Savior. And if you're joining together, those of you joining together with us online, if you desire to accept Christ as your personal Savior, you can do so. All you have to do is just lift up your voice and just say, Jesus, uh, come into my heart and save me. I am a sinner and I, I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my Savior. And as you, as you speak those words with all of your heart, your salvation is fully received. Uh, your home is in heaven. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Once you speak those words, uh, th th there's no waiting around uh, for your salvation to be received. There there's no probationary period that you have to go through for your sal salvation to be complete. There is no uh, a class that you have to take for your salvation to be complete. Once you speak those words with all of your heart saying, Jesus, come into my heart and save me. I know I'm a sinner and I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my savior. Once you speak those words with all of your heart, your salvation is, is fully received. Uh, <clears throat> no waiting around for it. it, it it's fully received, and and as you, uh, and as your salvation, your salvation is completely received. Uh, but but your walk of salvation is just the walk of salvation that you're just starting. The walk of salvation that everybody is on will go on throughout your life. And with this walk of salvation, the Lord is going to guide you. The Lord will guide you through it. The Holy Spirit that is within you right now uh, will <clears throat> will guide you through that walk of salvation. Uh, and, and uh. And 
and, and as well that the Lord is going the Lord as you have, have accepted Christ as your personal Savior the Lord is going to remove things and he's going to remove people out of your life uh, that, that he knows that that is going to cause you to fall back into this world to turn your back upon him and and and, and, and throw away the salvation that was given to you uh, and as he does so there, 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 there may be pain and difficult times uh, difficulties w w with that uh, if the if that come if that occurs, uh, lean upon the Lord, pray and seek His face, uh, and, and, and for for the strength to endure, uh, for the comfort that that is needed. Uh, but but don't put anything on on a pedestal above God Himself. Uh, don't put anything in in, uh, in competition with, with God Himself. Uh, <clears throat> put God first, and only put God first, and He will guide you. And comfort you and strengthen you through through everything else, and as well uh, with this walk of salvation that you're on, the Lord is going to bring people and He's going to bring things into your life uh, that that He that, that that He knows is going to strengthen you in your walk. That He knows is going to help you uh, in in your journey along with Him. Uh, as God, as He brings these things into your life, as He brings these people into your life, uh, allow Him to do so. Uh, don't be resistant to it. Don't be don't be stubborn, but allow the Lord to bring those people and those things into your life. So whether it's uh, removing things and people out of your life, or whether it's bringing people or, or things into your life, uh, allow the Lord to do so uh, as you as you walk on, on in this walk of salvation, and and as well. Uh, with this walk of salvation that you're now that that you are now journeying on, with the salvation that you have now received, pray and ask the Lord to take you to a church that He has waiting for you, that's going to help you in in, in your in your strength and in your walk with Him. Uh, don't pick out a church on your own, whether it's uh, pleasing to your eyes or to your ears, but but pray and allow the Lord to take you to that church, uh, the, the the church that He has waiting for you. That, that that's going to strengthen you in, in your walk, uh, in your walk with him, and and as you pray from this point on, always pray, uh, in the name of Jesus, and and always in your prayer in the name of Jesus, and uh, and as well if there's uh going on, if there's any prayer requests, that those of you joining together with us online, if you have a prayer request, uh, and if the Lord is putting anything upon your heart, uh, to to send, and our email address is is uh beneath this video is prayer at rtbministries.us if the Lord is putting anything upon your heart to, to send in uh, as for prayer requests be obedient and, and, and do so uh, once I receive it I'll pray over it on your behalf in the name of Jesus uh, like I said our email address is beneath this video is prayer at rtbministries.us and now lastly uh, we'll be coming together on Sunday our Sunday afternoon service uh, at at twelve at twelve thirty we'll uh, we'll start the broadcast uh, and we'll start uh, once we start the broadcast we'll start services shortly after that. So uh, uh, if the Lord is, is setting upon your heart is putting upon your heart to join together with us for our Sunday service, uh, <clears throat> like I said, we join together at, at, at uh, we join we, we start we'll start the broadcast at twelve thirty and, and start service shortly after that. If the Lord is uh, uh, is instructing you, is telling you to, to instructing you to come join together with us in person, we uh, we come together at, at the Shore Stay, Shore Stay and Express here in Elizabethtown. Uh, it's off the Elizabethtown Reams exit, off of Route 283. Uh, if you're going westbound uh, on on Route 283, uh, once you get off the Reams Elizabethtown exit, then then you'll <coughs> excuse me, then you're going to make a left. Uh, right after you get a, get a, off the off uh, uh, exit off the off ramp, uh, and you'll be 2,500, uh, 3,000 feet down. It'll be your first right hand turn, and, and the in the uh, hotel will be on your on your right side. Uh, if you're going eastbound on Route 283, uh, and you get off of the Reams Elizabeth, Reams Elizabeth Town exit, uh, you're going to make a, a a right hand turn, and it'll be 1,500 feet, 1,000, 1,500 feet uh, down down the down the street and once again it'll be your first right hand turn and the hotel will be on your on your right hand side and now uh, we gather together and at, at a little after 12 o'clock to set everything up get everything going uh <clears throat> be praying and, and getting ourselves ready for, for service starting a broadcast getting ourselves ready for service so however the lord would have you to join together with us we'll happy we'll be happy for you to join together with us whether it's online 
uh, or whether it's in person, we welcome you to, to, to join together with us, fellowship, uh, praise and worship, uh, as well as receiving God's word. However it may be, if the Lord is, uh, is instructing you to join together with us, we welcome you to come on down and join uh, join together with us or, or join together with us online, however it may be. All right. Whew. All right, here we go. If our, all hearts and minds are clear, let's all bow our heads before the Lord so we could be dismissed out in the name of Jesus. Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us, God, and keeping and standing on with us, allowing us to, uh, to, to, to continue on in this year Bible study. We thank you for allowing us to come together out of the distraction of this world to sit at your feet, as well as for broadcasting your word. And I pray, dear Father, for all of your church, everyone that has joined together with us, dear Father, as we go our separate ways, as we turn off our devices, as we go back out into this world, dear Father, I pray for your continued uh, covering upon each and every one of us, dear Father. I pray for you to be in the midst of the families and uh, in everywhere that we go, fight our, fighting our battles, giving us the victory, re and reminding us to give all things unto you, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Stand with us and guide and keep us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Continue on walking with us, dear Father, uh, blessing us and keeping us in, keeping us in good health and, and injury-free. Stand on with us, dear Lord, and guide and keep us, dear Father, and prosper us in all that we do and all that we're going to do, dear Father, in Jesus' name, dear Lord. And I pray as well as I lift up this year's church. I uh, pray that your angels will continue cover, will continue uh, surrounding it, dear Father. I pray, dear Lord, to protect your church. Keep the doors open that we can come in out of the distraction of this world, dear Father, and as well. I pray blessings upon each, upon all that have joined together with us with their whole heart, dear Father, to come sit at your feet, dear Lord. And I pray bless us to once again uh, uh, gather together, and uh, not only uh, this coming Sunday, but as well as next week for another uh, time in your Bible study, dear Father. And dear Lord, once again, I give you glory and praise for allowing us to come together, allowing us to sit at your feet. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you, dear Father. And in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hey,